going on guys Victor here today I got Jamie Bunn owner of Blue Water Movements with me what's up everybody you guys have seen Elliot it's my good buddy owner of bait strips what's up guys today we're gonna run down to Miami try to get on whatever pelagic fish bite so hope you guys enjoy all right guys check this out we got three live wells full of bait we got the scaled baits in there some sardines thread fins pilchards some more chummers pilchards and then we got the big boys right here we got a bunch of gogs, some runners in there. You know it's good when you start out the day with some bait. It's gonna be a good day. This boat is sick, guys, look at this. You got more rod holders than you know what to do with. Beautiful out here. We got the Bryce man. Say what's up. Let's do it, brother. What's up? This guy is a legend. Ah, um, oh, no, we're going to see today. I told you guys about Blue Water Movement. So Jamie runs all those tournaments. And Bryce right here just got first place in one of those meet tournaments. So you know we're in good hands. This is Jazz. This what's is uh, Jamie's cameraman. He's magic behind the camera. We're targeting blackfin tuna. You know, the focus of the video is live chumming. But again, chunks are such an effective way to catch any kind of tuna, from blackfin to yellowfin or whatever. I forgot my ladle, so I'm paying I'm paying a heavy price right now with my hand. But all we do is every few minutes, just grab a handful, throw them over, and the whole idea is those are dropping down into the water column. So if the fish are down deeper, they come up, they start plucking at the chunks. All of a sudden they find our baits, they find our live chum, bang, 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 and the acrobatic show begins. So that's how it's supposed to work. Let's see what happens. Come through. That's what has to happen, son. Not a tuna, but we'll take it, boys. Let's go. Oh, we got a nice 15, 18 pound king in the box. We gotta find some more friends for him. Yeah, we got him. Elliot on. So this is our second drift set up in about 200 feet of water. Last drift we got that one kingfish, cuda, a couple other missed bites, but it seems like both sides of the boat consistent action between the flat lines and kites. Nice. Staying straight up and down. King, little king. Another one right behind it? No. I don't know what's up, Elliot. What's up with our kite? Our kite's getting no love back here. Yeah, I love this morning. Now it's uh, Bryce. What's hey, the secret? No love in the back, bro. Bryce. First of all, start talking to the camera. Second of all, tell us why you're catching all the friggin' fish. <laughs> I don't have the reason for that. Bryce, you just silent Slayer up here by yourself. Oh, I'm sitting there talking to him. He's like, uh-huh. He's just like, he's uh -huh me. Uh -huh. I'm like, are you getting a bite? He's like, uh-huh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Just getting real nervous. Like a little kinger. Nice king. That's why he was laying on top like that. Big boys like to do. Big boy. Big boy. You gotta figure it out. Ready? Oh, we got it. Get in there, little gamer. There you go. Oh, that's, the that's a kang, boys. That's a real. That's a real one. Take it. All right, check it out. Bryce just got this stud kingfish on the kite. You. Looks like Woo. most of our bites have actually come on the kite. We got flat lines on that side, deep baits, but all of the action has been on the kites, and that's why it's important. You gotta have a big spread out. Sick kingfish. Woo! Your final resting place. Yeah. 
This coffin box isn't big enough. We catch anything bigger, we're gonna be in trouble. Oh, of course, Bryce is hooked up up here. Little guy, but get the gap. He's right here. Tuna? Yeah. Ollie, grab the gap. Grab the black gap right here, up in the target species. Over the rail. In the tail. Woo! I wanted to you so long to eat. Shut up, hold on. Bam! Target species, boys. Just a little smaller than a black fin. There you go. You can put get that. in there. Time to eat. All right, guys. We just moved again. Getting the kites out. Getting all the rods out. And we got some beautiful blue water behind us. The last spot we were at is kind of green. And as an offshore guy, you're always looking for that deep, deep blue water. This stuff right here. That's what the pelagic's like. Taking live. Feeling good. Yeah. Now it's shooting up. Now I'm not liking it. Big King. Don't come. Oh yeah. Woo! Hey, little guy. Keep him in the water. Come on, fella. Ah, nice. Here, fella. Nice fish. Hell yeah. Hey, Good job, buddy. Hey, fella. Foul hooked again. Look at that. Wow. Sure is. Yeah, they come in long, they come in Hell yeah. 20 pounder, nice fish. Sideways, sideways. Some B-roll over. We're gonna get back out of 200, Jamie. All right, so if you guys don't know who this is, my good buddy, Elliot. We've actually filmed like three or four videos together. We're not trolling the bait strips today, but I'm all about helping my friends and local businesses. Elliot has a really cool product called Bait Strips. I'm gonna have a link below. When you guys are trolling planers or strips up top, catch wahoo, kingfish, dolphin, tuna, all sorts of stuff. Check out the website, guys, www.baittrips.com. Victor! And we have a deep live bait, right? Yeah. Yep. Bryce just put the first black tuna in the boat. I'm sure you sure this is gonna be another five pound black fish. All right, they eat, the right? They eat good, don't they? They eat the same as a 30 pound. I like it. When they don't shoot up to the surface, they're generally not a bonita. Yeah, she's pulling, she's pulling. She's pulling, she's pulling some line. Oh, that rod, that rod, that rod, that rod, that rod. That was a line. Yo! Right here! You! What do you got, oh, Mike? Huh? Elliot's hooked up. Right here, Jamie. Right here, Jamie's hooked up in the front. Right here. Blackfin. With a short D. Uh, Fish on top. Okay. Oh, you got your little guy right here. Right. Nice. 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 Woo! On the mustad nice. vertical jig. You guys know what I'm gonna say next. Save 20% off. Use code Land Shark. Link below. On the mustad jig. There's the jig. There's the proof in the pudding. Mustad vertical jig. Hit about 100 feet underneath the boat. Beautiful fish. They're beautiful. All lit up. You guys know my boy Jamie's hooked up. Yes, sir. I'm a big one. I'm pumped, man. This is my first official fish on these new rods. So hopefully I don't uh, screw anything up. And uh, it turns out to be the nice black fin that we put the herring out of He's down. We're subscribing. Fish Blue Water. Link below. That's right. Thank you, bro. Thank you for the love. That's a that's a 20 plus pound fish, isn't it? Oh, for sure. I, I, again, I don't like to jinx myself, but I'd be I'd say this fish is probably upper 20s, close to 30 pound fish. He's got a lot of shoulders. He's made a quick couple of hard runs, some good head shakes, and now he's just digging down there. All right, guys. Jamie's been fighting this fish for probably close to 10 minutes now. Still think it's a real good tuna. Check this out. Oh, 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 oh! Charging the boat? Oh, no. Don't tell me! Don't tell me it pulled. There. Ah! Where did the, the leader break? No, the, the leader leader chafed. Oh. That was a big fish. Big tuna. Probably 30 plus. Yes, that's the one. The one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a real one. Yeah. 
I hope it's a real one. It's it's going down. Yep. Yeah. Caught two two tunas on the last drift, and uh, Jamie lost a really nice one. We don't know really know what happened to it. It's hooked up again on the jig. You gotta love it. Good job, yeah, Victor. Yeah, that's a tuna. Yeah, yeah. Bonitas will shoot straight up to the surface. There it is. Another black one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. The Mustad vertical jig strikes again. You guys hear me say, look, we got kites out on that side, we got pilchards on this side, and the only fish on this drift so far has come on the jig. Sometimes those tuna are real deep. That was about 100 feet under the boat. You see those big old eyeballs? They're smart. These fish like to feed early in the morning, late at night, right before dark. They got big eyeballs for a reason. They're sensitive to light. All right, let's go see what's up over here. On the surface. Yeah. Oh, Sail. Ah. Sure. What you got? Uh, I am fighting what we call an Atlantic sailing fish. Also known as the elusive sailfish. But I mean, this is spring fishing at its finest. Kingfish, dolphin, tuna, sailfish. All we're missing is the wahoo, and that's basically every species. People Cover. come to Florida catch offshore. No doubt. And we've had a couple cutoffs, so who knows if we didn't have a wahoo bite. Woo. Very majestic out here. <laughs> that is a pot. Is that fish close, Bryce? Ah, uh, getting here. Nice boys. He hasn't lost his color at all. All right, sailfish number two coming in hot. They're running small today. What I'm trying to do is that. Jumbo. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Bryce strikes again on the bow. Right in the corner of the mouth where we want him. Say something for the camera. Bingo, baby. Hey. You gotta know where to start when the guides go out. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, looks like a that looks like a meat call right there. I don't mm -hmm. know. That's a meat call, son. I had no idea, but I was fishing with the original owner of Blue Moon Fish Company. And if you guys don't know, it's one of the best seafood restaurants down here in South Florida. Is it in Lauderdale or Palm Valley? No, Lauderdale by the sea. Commercial Nature Coastal. Commercial Nature Coastal. Yeah, great spot. Hooked up on Jamie's rod. This was on a long flat line sardine. Still on the tuna grounds, so that's what I'm thinking it is. It's going deep, it's gonna be a tuna. Oh yeah. Looks like he's cooperating. Black fin, saving it like the right species. Good job, Victor! Yeah. Another nice black fin. Sure. Look at the colors on those things, man, when they come in the boat. Woo. How pretty is that? Uh, he was hooked perfectly in the corner right here. All right, guys, just caught this beautiful blackfin tuna, like a 15 pound class fish. I think the coolest thing about these fish, if you guys look at them dead on, they look like a little airplane. They got these huge pectoral fins. They can turn on a dime, super aggressive fish. Delicious dinner. And yes, and you told me you make a mean Reuben, tuna Reuben, so I do. Listen, you just gotta let me know what day and what time at the uh, the Land Shark dinner table, man. Papa Vicks. <laughs> this tuna's going in the box. Once again, big thank you to the guys over at Blue Water Movements and Jamie. All their stuff like below. Hopefully a good day out here with the boys. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, Six black fins, a dolphin, six, six kings. Not bad, not bad at all. And two sailfish. I think we gotta go home. Yeah. We're out of room. All right, guys, so uh, 
I want to th say thank you to Victor for joining us. It's been a great day of fishing. And as he said, Blue Water Movements is my company. We run several tournaments here in South Florida uh, year round. We have a really fun uh, meat fish tournament that attracts families, weekend warriors, people that just like to get out and have fun. Dolphin, Wahoo, Kingfish, Tuna, Cobia. Check them out online, bluewatermovements.com. And we also run a really great sailfish series as well. So tournament fishing in South Florida, that's who we are and that's what we do. All right. Oh! Okay, right here. Let it be, let it be. It was a, it's a, uh, God, that's you. There. We're in the king's Come back and eat it. Yeah. I mean, wow. Yeah. 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 Atta boy. There we straight, go. Straight, straight up, straight up, straight up. One, two, three, go. Atta boy. Yeah! Oh. I told you he was 35, son! We'll be on it. Whoa! Okay, this is the fish we were looking for all day. Woo! That's a big one right there. That's a real one. That's what we call redemption. Woo! Wow, no doubt. Hey! Alright, let's check this out. Hey, that's a walk-off. 35 pound king. That's over 30 pound tuna all day long. Walk-off. We're done. This thing is well over 30. See him, boys. That's a, real He's a fat one. Alright, damn. It's a good fish, too. 30 plus pound king, 30 plus pound black one. That's how you finish the day, huh? Team on wow. four! Fish Blue Water! Land Shark Outdoors! Bait strips! Got her done today. <laughs> There's nothing Woo. else to say other than we'll see you back at the dock. Wow. What an absolutely incredible day yesterday with Jamie and the boys. And if you guys are liking this video so far, please go ahead and like the video. It really helps me out a lot. And then I can put out better video for you guys. So we're going to flay this black fin up real quick. about freed it's the easiest way to flay tuna is to hit it from both sides and then just break it at the backbone and since this isn't a bigger fish like real big fish 30 plus pound fish I like to do the uh, the two loin method but this guy does not need it there you go Whoop. look at that There's nothing left on the carcass so for tonight's dinner, we got Jamie coming over. We got Zach and Elliot back there. Say what's up. How's it going, guys? Gonna make two things tonight. We got some blackened tuna Rubens, and then look at this beautiful, thinly sliced blackfin tuna. I'm gonna make a little tuna crudo style dish with it. I keep it raw, and I just slice it as thin as I possibly can. And a big tip with this is make sure your fish is as cold as possible. The colder the fish, the easier your fish is going to cut, and the thinner your cuts are gonna be able to be. Perfectly portioned blackfin fillets for the Rubens. See, now it's not hot enough. Flip, then you got your blackened crust. You want that real high heat, you want to create a sear. So high check heat. it out. Those were on no more than a minute, 30 seconds on each side. Go in with a little more oil. For a good Reuben, you need a good Russian dressing. This is a homemade one I made. I like to do half sour cream, half mayo, a lot of cracked black pepper, pickle, onion, Worcestershire, and a little crystal. And I think that's it. We're gonna do a little bit of the Russian dressing on both the top and bottom portion of the bread. This is rye bread from the best grocery store on earth, Publix. Okay, and then for the Rubens, you gotta go down with the Swiss cheese. And I know it looks like a lot of cheese, but I asked specifically for it to be super thinly sliced. That way it's not an overwhelming amount. The tuna. 
Yeah, okay, going down with some sauerkraut now. And then this is drains, otherwise your Reuben would be awfully soggy. This is mango and the juice of three limes. Basically a mango smoothie for your tuna. Spread it around. And we're just gonna layer it on top of our mango. Now, some supreme grapefruit. It's gonna be a nice contrast with the sweet mango. You got that tartness from the grapefruit. Now, some red onion. Red chili pepper. Go kind of light with this since it is hot. And then this is lime zest. So you get that lime flavor without adding all that extra acidity because it's already in the mango. Okay, finish off with a little fresh herb. We got some basil going down. To finish off, we got a little branch and vine. Some branch and vine Meyer lemon olive oil. Go right on top. With the, especially with the grapefruit. That was so good. Tuna on a Reuben. I mean, who would have ever thought, but it's phenomenal. I can promise you the next time I catch a blackfin tuna, I'm going to attempt to recreate this. I'll probably fall short, but it's amazing. Thank you. This is honestly the best Reuben I've ever had. And it's tuna of all things, come on. Victor, Victor knows what he's doing. Yeah. Corn beef's retired. <laughs> <laughs> this St. Patty's Day, I'm coming over, we're doing the tuna. I'm telling you, this stuff is ridiculous. Amazing, amazing. Yes, sir. Off the charts, uh, and the crudo is like a nice palate cleanser. It, it just goes so well together. Just another another amazing one in the books, Vic. Good job. Sushi, sashimi style tuna is the best way to have tuna. And then the second best way is probably blackened and then throw it in a Reuben. Like, you got the best of both worlds here. Absolutely delicious, so good job, Vic. Hey, 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 what were you gonna say about your nuts? <laughs> say it, go ahead, say it. Well, I was going to say that it looked like I had missed out on a fun day of fishing, but I was busy making my lobster nuts. So a little shameless plug for myself. So if you guys are interested in my lobster nuts, link down in the bio. Which are sitting right over there in that corner. All right, well, thank you everyone for the kind words and big thank you to Jamie because I know fueling up a 39 CV is definitely not cheap. So it's nice to be able to cook for all these people and, you know, reciprocate. Someone taking you out, you get to cook for them. There's nothing better. And it all comes for full circle. And like I always tell you guys, the universal language is food. Everybody likes to fish. Well, not everybody likes to fish, fish, but everybody loves food. And that's what's cool. It brings everyone together. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, check out Jamie's channel, Blue Water Movements. And I'm going to have all of their stuff linked below. Till the next one, see ya.